So you might be in a situation where your iPhone just continuously just keeps having these constant notification sounds. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The number one reason why this ends up happening is because you're just probably very popular inside of an application and you may just want to go ahead and disable your particular, you know, actual thing, your notification sounds within one app. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your iPhone settings, just right into this application right here. What you can do is you can scroll down until you find the particular application that continues to just annoy you. So if it's messages, if it's Facebook, if it's Instagram, go ahead and find that application and you want to go and open it up. So in this case, we have Instagram right here. Let's just say it was Instagram. Well, if I make my way over into this application, there is a little notifications panel right inside of this app. So what I can actually do is I can just tap on notifications and this little panel right here will go and allow me to see all the notifications or disable all the notifications depending on what I want to do. So if my notifications are on, what I can do is I can customize these notifications. So I can go and have them so I can, you know, enable or disable time sensitive notifications, lock screen, you know, notification screen, you know, banners. If I want to go and you know, disable anything here, I can just go and turn it off. And that's a big thing. So this is the easiest way to go and disable specific notifications within specific applications. Now, another thing you want to do is if you want to go and disable it from all the apps, you don't want to go in there manually, you can also swipe down from the top right and just turn on do not disturb mode. So if you want to turn on do not disturb mode, this means that people will just go ahead and not be able to, they'll still be able to send you texts and messages and all that stuff. You just won't be notified of it. You'll be notified of it at a later point. So when you go and turn it off. So that's another thing you can do as well. Now, if you want to disable the sounds and all that stuff, you can always just turn your phone on ringer mode. So you can just go and turn it on silent mode. So if it's up like this, that basically means that the sound will basically come through. If it's down like this, this basically means that you're going to be on silent mode and the notifications will come through, but they'll just be delivered in a silent way. So it's another option you have as well. So those are just a few different ways to do that. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.